Hi guys, how are you? Uh, many of you are from the arena. Well, many of you are from my kitchen, but you know what I mean. I just wanted to do a little bit of a chat with you. I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, David has been getting a lot of feedback from our members about what they want some help with. Um, I know social media is just flooded with home workout after home workout, so I don't think there's any shortage of those. But um, we have been getting food, some feedback from people um, on other items they wanted us to address. So I'm going to talk to you a tiny bit about planning your day and routine and your timetable, especially if you're at home a, a lot. You know, I know some people, the heroes of the country are still out working, but some of us aren't. We're at home a lot. We're at home with our kids, um, which has its own challenges too, I guess. So if this could help a few people, it might help parents that are at home with their kids or it might just help anyone in general. So I'm just really quickly going to show you my little, I kind of have a whiteboard in the kitchen anyway. I used to use it on and off. I'm definitely using it now because I think it just keeps me a little bit more on track about what I'm doing. So that's basically it there guys. There is not much to it, right? I'm going to flip the camera around again and just quickly talk about one or two key points. but. Uh, there really is not much to it. So for me, I just have it split into AM, PM and nap time because that's how what my life is like. So you have to make it very applicable for your own life. So I've obviously the morning with my two-year-old boy. Um, thank God he still naps. So I do have nap time in the middle of the day. That's a very key time of the day for me to get things done. And then what's going to happen in the evening. So um, it's a fairly loose routine from what you can see, but it's good enough for me, okay? I don't want to put a load of pressure on myself, having myself um, down to the half hour of what I'm doing. That, that doesn't work for me. We're under enough pressure as it is. So I just base it off my priorities. My priority is my son and a handful of other close people that I love. That, that's always to the forefront of my mind. Um, so... Getting fresh air with him is a big thing, so he has a lot of energy. So doing as many activities in the house, playing all the time so that the TV isn't on too much, playing, building blocks, colouring, doing sticker books, and then outside as much as I can physically get him out. Um, he's frustrated like the rest of us, he's used to seeing his friends and stuff, you know, but um, so that's a big one for me. And then after that, uh, like if I talk you through a day like Monday, fresh air in the morning, so as long as I can physically keep him out, I, I'm not going to put a time on that. When he goes to nap, I get some work done then. So obviously I'm still trying to run a business and I have a job as well on top of that. So that's where I try to have all of my work ready to do on the laptop for that hour or so that I have. So that's a really, uh, I'm blessed to have that time. And then on the Monday evening, then I always do a workout. So I have some equipment at home anyway from after when I had my baby. I had some heavy kettlebells and bits and pieces. So I'm doing home workouts as close to my goals going forward. So I'm trying to keep things very heavy. You know, that's hard when you're not in a gym, but it's still important to stay focused on whatever kind of path you are on. Try to stay on that path. So there's no point in me just doing little home workouts and doing loads of burpees and stuff. That's not part of, we'll say, my sport and my plan going forward. So if you are someone that goes to the gym and had a specific goal, that's where you need to be speaking to your trainers to see if you can kind of make it as as close to your goals as you can um, from a home setting or an outdoor setting or whatever it may be, okay? Um... So that, th those things are important to me, obviously. Um, food is a huge <laughs> part of this house for me and my son. So I know some people, it's just like whatever. But food for me is huge and it always has been. So we eat very healthily. Uh, we eat a lot. Uh, I batch cook. I've done that anyway. I freeze a lot of food. I'm never stuck or cut out for food, right? So I... And it doesn't land on my lap. I, pl I plan for it. I prepare for it. Um, where possible, I'm getting online shopping, so I'm staying away from, from shops and everything as much as I can anyway. Um, I just wanted to say one really big thing about food. Uh, this whole calorie deficit and how you aesthetically look, I know that's very important to people, and that's fine. But please, for right now, can we just prioritise our health? Um, Half the time anyway, if you're eating incredibly healthy food that's really wholesome and good for you and isn't processed, um, 
you're not really going to get, you know, heavy or iron fat or whatever from that kind of food anyway. What I'm saying is we're all anxious and worried about certain things. We're all in the same boat. I find, and I know it's the same for all of us, I find if I have a load of sugar, a load of crap food, um, or too much caffeine, my mood is worse. And I, like I have the butterflies in my chest, do you know, this kind of thing. And it's the same for all of us. So now's the time to just eat an abundance of healthy, nutritious foods, loads of fruits and vegetables for the antioxidants to help your immune system, because we need that now as well. So you, your priority now should be immunity, and your priority is to keep your anxiety down so not to be having foods and drinks that will make you more anxious. We always think that kids having too much sugar drives them mad. We're the same. Um, so I'm watching my coffee intake, alcohol intake, and sh shit food, sugary foods. So just to be aware of that, I guess, as well. And I think the last thing then is just... Do, you know, lots of people are having, uh, talking about doing all these things like people are <laughs> learning new languages and decluttering wardrobes and washing their windows. I wish I was at that stage. I'm not yet, right? Um, so it's funny. It's like no matter what, there's always pressure to keep up with something. And people are doing all these cool things and learning new skills and stuff. For me, I, I, I my day is full enough keeping my little fella entertained and cooking and cleaning and keeping up with work and trying to work out. So that's enough for me. But um, yeah, so if you've the time to do those things, do them. It's great for your head and it's great, you know, to kind of keep you mentally um, stimulated as well. But for me, I'm not, I'm not there and I, I refuse to feel the pressure either. You know, I'm doing the best I can, like all of us. Um, so that's about the size of it. Uh, that's all I really wanted to say. Sorry if I kind of bladdered on a bit too much. If you've any questions, message us at the page and we'll be on to you over and back, guys, uh, with anything we can help you with. So keep the chin up and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.